Yo, what's going on guys? Series here, and in today's video I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to get started with GSX Studio. This is basically just a setup video, so it's not going to be too long and it's not going to be too in-depth. But, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is, this is for your antivirus, um, if, and it only applies if you're on Windows 10. You're going to want to go to your, uh, your Windows settings and go to your update security and then just search for your Windows Defender settings. Um, go ahead and open those. Go to your Virus and Threat Protection. You're going to want to go to your Protection Settings and disable Real-Time Protection. Um, it'll automatically re-enable itself. Um, it's going to black out the screen every time I click something that requires administrator access. Um, it's going to automatically uh, re-enable itself every day or so so you should really just install your own antivirus um, I know it's kind of funny that I'm telling you to install antivirus but honestly it, antivirus is better than Windows Defender anyway and most antiviruses don't flag GSX Studio um, but you're gonna want to go ahead and add an exclusion as well uh, go ahead and just navigate to wherever the install location for your GSX Studio is it should be defaulted to program files so that's what I'm going to use for this video and then it's going to want administrator permission again and that's it that's how you set up your uh, antivirus for using GSX Studio that should fix some of the installer problems all right now we're going to go ahead and actually go into GSX Studio I'm going to show you guys how to make a new project real quickly so you're going to want to go to project new project uh, then you're going to go ahead and set up your project name to whatever you want um, it can include spaces, numbers, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, just remember what this is because this is going to be how you find your project in the future. Um, and you can't change your project name after you've created the project. Renaming the folder won't do anything. Um, your creator name is, you know, whoever made it. And then your default script is going to be whatever you're going to use to inject. So I'm using development dvars in this example. You can use client entities, you know, whatever you want. Make sure for zombie scripts that you set it up for a zombie script and for multiplayer scripts you set it up for multiplayer. It's really important that you set up that script because otherwise the game doesn't know what to inject whenever you create your project. So you'll get the default code. Uh, it looks pretty similar to GSC Studio and all those other uh, alternatives. Just really simple code. Um, you can change the iPrint line to whatever you want. Um, and if you have experience, just or if you have experience in GSC coding, um, this is probably really familiar to you. Uh, there's nothing really new here. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to build your project once you're ready to inject or whatever. Um, you just go up to the build and you hit whatever platform you want. So for this one, I'm just going to do both console and PC. As you can see, build times are really low, so you don't really have to worry about building over and over again. So build as often as you want. You can set it up to release or or debug it doesn't really affect your script that much right now um, it's mainly just for uh, people doing very specific things with their script which I'll do a tutorial on eventually um, and as you can see you can build it from the action bar you can build it from any of that um, I was just kind of going over some of the menu stuff on this recording uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to open a project if you wanted to you should open go to your documents and then go to your Black Ops 2 GSX projects and then click the folder of whatever project you want and just hit the GSX project. Um, it'll ask me to save because I had some, some changes. Uh, then I'll also show you how to close project. Pretty simple. Uh, and then I'm going to show you something important, which is importing projects. If you want to import from GSC Studio, this is the way you're going to do it. Um, it should also be able to import the ones from uh, JDBM's tool uh, and I don't know of any other alternatives go ahead and hit add project and you want to do these projects one by one because if you do more than one project they're all going to be set to the same default script and if you do like multiplayer and zombies at the same time it's not going to work so you want to do one script at a time and just import them as you work on them um, I'm doing example project for example um, it has to have a main.gsc. If it doesn't, then it's not going to load it. Um, and you're just going to click the folder that it's in. Go ahead and set up the default script. This is what it's going to set the script to. It's just like making a new project. Just, you know, pick whatever. 
For this one, I'm using game type ZM, client IDs, because this is a zombies project. And then you put your creator name, you can choose whether to overwrite or import over. Should import it really fast, there's not really much it has to do. And that's it, that's how you import a project. And then you can go ahead and open it up from your GSX projects location. Uh, as you can see, I made this example project. Nothing complicated. Two GSCs, whatever, you know, I just made this really quickly for the video. Um, and that's it, guys. That's, like, the very basics of GSX Studio, and that's how you can get working as soon as you, as soon as you get into it. That's basically it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey.